Today we are going to do another store haul video. Yes, another one. Um, they're piling up, so I gotta do this. And I wanna start reviewing it. So, let's get into it. Let's go. going on guys my name is Carlos thank you for joining me here on the whiskey corner as you can see I've been doing some work yeah yeah kind of you can't see over here but uh, it's a work in progress we're definitely uh, getting there eventually I wanted to thank all of you for stopping by checking out the video and checking out the channel please do me a couple of favors one is that you like or dislike this video YouTube's algorithm really uh, goes off of that so go share this video with others another favor that you can do for me is subscribing yep subscribe that'll really really help me out and I'll truly appreciate that so what are we doing today let's get straight into it we're doing yet another store haul video so not just one store not even just one state because I've been to uh, Georgia and I went over to Texas. Um, Texas one was only one bottle, but uh, Georgia was a few and here in Florida was a few. So we're gonna get into it. We're going to uh, go over them. And one of them actually, I wanna open or pop here on camera before we actually get into it. The first one that I guess we're going to uh, get into that I wanna open now is a Broken Barrel Reserve Oak Series. And this is Kentucky Bourbon finished in stout beer staves. So I've never really been lusting over getting one of these stout whiskeys, but I've been, um, you know, I've been curious. And this came in at like 50 or 40 something, and I saw it on my local Total Wine. Haven't seen this before. It's 115 proof, so. It's talking to me, and it's a little bit weird, right? Ooh, that was good. Um, so, decided to try it out, and I actually wanna try it out. Now, I have read that you should probably let this sit for like 20 minutes, or at least let it get some air into it so that, um, so that you know, it could get good. We're letting it get some air into it, and we're gonna review that in a couple of weeks and see how that does. So let's go in for a taste. Cheers. Mm. Chocolatey, caramel. I'm not tasting the barley too much as I smelled it, but overall, still good. Hey, I like it. It's actually really freaking good. I'm actually pretty happy that I spent like 45 or 50 bucks on that. So that's the first one for the store haul. Um, let's get into the rest of it. So I came back from Georgia and uh, fortunately my brother was having a health issue. So uh, he's good now. So um, that's really great. And because I just went up there and I just saw how, how he was doing, um, helped out wherever I could. And he actually got me, when I got home, he surprised me with a Michter's US1 bourbon. Not the whiskey, but the bourbon. I gotta say, I don't have a bottle of this, so I'm actually pretty happy that he got it for me. I have tasted it before, right? Um, but I remember that it, it was good, although I don't have a bottle. So it's I'm actually happy that he got this for me, and I really definitely appreciated it. So didn't really pay for that one, but I think they're like around 40, 50 bucks as well. All right, so I went up to Georgia. And before I came back down, I went up driving. I bought four, yes, four whiskeys. So no particular order, but actually, yeah, particular order. This is the cheapest of them. And I finally broke down and got an early times. You know, I've never tasted early times and I wish I would have tasted the one before they changed over because people are saying that that one was better, but I did get this one, 100 proof, nothing special, 20 something bucks, but I have never tasted or bought a bottle of it. I'm pretty happy to finally open this, taste this, and see what I think about it. 
another one that I got over there, um, and actually this one was a little bit second to highest. This is about 80 bucks, and it is Nashville Barrel Company. So this one is the Cast Strength Georgia one. It's 112 proof, and yeah, like I said, this cost me about 80, yeah, 79.99, I think it was. So haven't seen these around, and I know they go by different states. So I've, online, I've, I've, I've had a chance to buy some other ones from some other states. But, you know, I was happy to do that and not pay for the shipping. So that wasn't bad for that. I did also get this Balcones, which I have no idea what this is. So I have to do a little bit of research. But because I've never seen this before, definitely had to get it. Could just be a regular Balcones, just uh, with ZZ Top. So who knows? But it is Balcones ZZ Top Tres Hombres. So three guys. I guessing it's a ZZ Top one, a little old whiskey from Texas. Um, so we'll do a review of this, but this is about 100 proof and it says the original Texas whiskey. So I am excited about getting this one. I think it costs about 50 bucks as well. And then finally, yes, I got a little unicorn that I've always been searching for. Um, I could have really went with like a 15 year, but I'm at least glad that I got the 14 year and it is the Sam Houston. This one cost me about a hundred and ten. Yeah, about a hundred and ten dollars. Um, I did little negotiating with the, uh, with the, uh, with the store. They wanted 140 at the beginning, but we got them down and this is, um, barrel date. 06 and it was aged at 14 years and four months char level four and uh yeah this is actually pretty freaking good i've been searching for this one 98 proof and i'm excited to get it and kind of put it up against the calumets that i have over there so definitely excited for this and uh we'll get into it pretty shortly another one that i got and now we're getting into me coming here in um in um actually no this one was texas so i got this one in texas blue run high rye bourbon whiskey nothing special i've been passing this one up a lot of times and i finally just got it i was like you know what i like the reflections one i'm def i'm gonna try it right this is the high rye bourbon it's 111 proof so definitely excited to get into this one and seeing what this one is all about i don't know maybe It'll, it'll disappoint me. Maybe I'll keep buying some more uh, blue runs, but that one cost me, I think it was like a 90, no, a hundred bucks, something like that. And then here in Florida, yes, I broke down. I finally broke down. You guys saw my video about stuff that I've been passing up and just last week or the week before, I finally bought it. Yes, I bought a new campfire one. Um, I kept seeing it at the store, and I've been like, I just need it. I just need to grab it. So I grabbed it, and uh, yeah, definitely got that. And um, I think that cost me like 80 bucks. I think it was like 78.999. I still keep seeing them because I just went to Total Wine about a day or two ago. And there was one left, so still see them, uh, but I know they're gonna be gone pretty quick. So I just got it, and well, it is what it is. Lastly, I bought this off of um, Sealbox. So check them out, sealbox.com. I think this cost me up there as well. I think this might have been like 90 or 100 bucks. And this is OKI Reserve. I've been waiting for this for a while. I think I bought it back in August, but it didn't come through until maybe like a week or two ago. Uh, but been um, been waiting for this one. I know they uh, did like some special release on Sealbox, so I was one of the uh, lucky ones that actually got to do it before it got sold out, and I did buy it. Um, don't know too much about it, but it's a blend between Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana, and it was distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, so, you know, probably MGP. This is batch one. So, definitely excited to get into that. I know my bourbon enthusiasts really aren't going to care about this, but I replaced my bottle of Lagavulin 16. I bought this the same time that I bought the uh, campfire, 
And yeah, you know, you just can't go wrong with locker ruling. And I was out, so had to go and get another one. Well guys, that is my store haul video. Um, I can't wait to do a review on a lot of these, but definitely this one, I wanna see how that opens up. So be on the lookout, there will be a few reviews coming up soon. I have a little bit more time. If you haven't seen my last video, check it out there or there, and you'll see why I have a little bit more time, but let's not dwell on that. Let me know if you guys have bought anything um, lately. Let me know in the comments below if you've tasted any of these, what you think of it, what did you buy it for, and what do you think about some of these? Um, you know, especially this Broken Barrel. I haven't seen too much stuff online about this particular one, the Stout uh, Beer Stable. But would like to know your thoughts. Please comment below. Please do me the two favors that I asked of you, especially at subscribing because that will really, really help me out. Check out the Patreon in the description and I will enjoy the rest of this, but I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Thank you.